there are a billion people around the world who smoke cigarettes and that number is not going to change for the foreseeable future. We know from statistics, we know from history that most people who smoke don't stop, they don't. And I knew that science and technology could be applied to this problem and it must be possible to create better alternatives. So you burn tobacco at a temperature of 800 degrees uh, we reduce the temperature to below 350 degrees, which completely changes the chemistry. Meaning that they are able to find the source of satisfaction for them and they are able to, to switch uh, to the alternatives. Whatever we generate, we are sharing with the outside world, with the scientific community. We are inviting independent researchers, institutions to take our data, to analyze our data and to come up with their own conclusions and to challenge us. We like to be challenged. People need to look at it, people need to delve into it, they need to look at the, look at the data that we've published and, and make conclusions based on, based on that data, not based on their perceptions of how we may have conducted our science or who we are as a company.